Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate uh, ClickUp to Zendesk. First of all, we need to create our account on uh, ClickUp.com and uh, I'll show you how to get there. First of all, this is uh, the panel that is going to be shown to us once we create our account here and we want to go to the bottom left corner to our workspace. Uh, now you can start with integrations when you see you click on uh, Marker Stone Workplace, for example, or there could be any other name that you already created. So we want to go to integrations and we want to find the Zendesk here. We click on the Zendesk and we basically just install it. It's like this. We press install and we are good to go. But there's only one option. There's not only one option, there's also Zapier.com where you can create your account and basically make the same thing happen. Once we create the uh, account on Zapier.com, we want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a Zap. Once we uh, get redirected, uh, we can name the Zap, for example, ClickUp uh, to Zendesk. For example, now we want to make a trigger. Our trigger will be obviously the first app we are going to use, and that's uh, ClickUp. We find it here, and we have to now uh, choose a trigger event, like uh, new task, task changes, uh, new list, or new new folder. We want to go with task changes. We want to press continue. Now we have to. Now we have to pick the account we want to log in uh, through Zapier or through ClickUp, sorry, like this. We press continue. Now we are set up a trigger for workspace, for what changed and so on. So we basically just uh, click it out like this, task status status type, or we just continue and uh, we can test our trigger here. For second action, it's our outcome application. In this case, it's obviously Zendesk. So if it's not here, you can just search in app and you go to Zendesk uh, through search engine. And now what will happen when task changes in ClickUp? It will create a ticket, update ticket, or create a, let's say create a user. And we press continue. Now you just have to sign to Zendesk and you are basically good to go. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.